How not to get sick from a flight. No, this isn't about the pukey kind, because let's get real, that is a result of your alcohol intake. This is how not to get the cold or flu from a flight. At 30,000 feet, the air is below the 15% humidity level your body needs to keep your throat and your nose moist, which inhibits your body's natural drainage system that carries viruses and bacteria down to your stomach to get flushed out. Just remember, dry means the germs stay up here. It's like a bane mask of bacteria. That's a visual for ya. Your best defense is a good offense. Yeah. Stay hydrated. To stay hydrated, drink lots of water. You can order a hot tea or a hot chocolate to create a little mini steam room for your mouth and nose. It's like a peppermint spa. Or you can use petroleum jelly or Neosporin in your nose to keep it moist. Or if you don't want to be creepy, go like this. And the Neosporin may actually create an extra barrier against germs. Create a personal bubble. Of course you are seated next to Sniffling Sally. Which means you now have a 10% chance of getting whatever she has. Lack of circulating air is the main reason why airplanes are a hotbed for germs. So circulate that air by opening the ventilation and putting it in front of you. This helps create a barrier from airborne germs, so they will hit the stream and go down away from you instead of to your face. And an added bonus is that air is filtered, which means it's a lot less germy than everything else that you're breathing in. Keep your hands to yourself. Whatever you do, do not touch that in-flight magazine. Do not put your glasses in the seat pocket. That seat pocket is notorious for cold and flu viruses. If you're tired, don't put your head on the table. That is crawling with MRSA, which is a bacterial infection you need horse pills to combat. And of course, bathrooms are gross. So bring disinfectant water or just keep your hands to yourself and you should be good to go. Speaking of germs, do you follow the five second rule? I follow the uh, butter side up or down rule, as in if you drop it butter side down, do not eat that. That is gross. Butter side up, you're probably still good to go. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let us know what rule you follow in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more handy tips. Germany handy tips! Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Super weird, man. <laughs>